Hey, welcome back to the Your Financial EKG YouTube page. My name is Drew Blackston. I'm a certified retirement counselor, investment advisor representative, and I am your virtual financial advisor, helping you get to retirement, helping you get through retirement, and protecting your ability to stay in retirement. Now, what I want to talk about today is the average investment account balance by age. Now, let me say that again. The average investment account balance by age or by generation, and this is excluding 401ks. Now, I did a video on the average 401k balance. It is below in the description, and you can click on that and watch that. But this is the average investment account balance by age. So this includes IRAs, Roth IRAs, individual accounts, joint accounts, trust accounts, any kind of investment account except for 401ks, 403bs, TSPs, 457s, any kind of qualified retirement plan. Okay, you ready? So let's do this. So the average account balance, the average investment account balance by age. The first is baby boomers, age 57 plus. The average investment account balance is $532,000. Obviously, they've had a lot of time to grow their money. Now, Gen X, the average investment account balance for ages 41 to 56 is $306,000. And for millennials, my generation, age 29 to 40, the average investment account balance is $103,000. Now, before we go any further, if this is your first time watching the Your Financial EKG YouTube page, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Smash the like button if you're enjoying this content. Also, leave your questions, comments, and your sarcastic remarks below. I read them all, and I will respond to every question, comment, or remark. Now, you might be looking at this. You might be looking at the average investment account balance and asking yourself, what does this matter? It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. This is just kind of giving you an idea of where everybody else is at. And what you can do is you can compare where you're at to where others are at in your age range. Now, what I don't want you to do is to let that negatively affect your thinking about saving for retirement or investing or trying to grow your wealth. What I want this to do is to motivate you to grow your assets, to grow your retirement accounts, to grow your investment accounts. Let me show you why I say that. Is it, I'm gonna erase this, erase this if that's okay with you. So let's say, that you are 30 years old, okay? 30 is a good age. So let's say you're age 30 and you have zero dollars invested. So let's say you're age 30 and you have zero dollars invested and you wanna grow your accounts over the next 35 years because that'll get you to 65 and you want to know how much you have to save or invest each month to get to a million dollars. Now, why a million? A million is just a good round number. Now, if you're age 30 today, you're going to need a lot more than a million dollars when you retire in 35 years. But let me just show you the beauty of compound interest so that when you look at the average investment account balance, you can look at it and say, I can be there. Or if you have the same amount of money as that average, you can go, I'm gonna be more than this. I'm gonna get higher than this. So let's look at this real quick. I'm just gonna pull out my HB2B Plus calculator and let's go age 30. So we're gonna go 35 years. Let's say that over the next 35 years, the market grows at 7%. So the S&P 500, we're gonna grow at 7% a year. Now it's average 10% over its lifetime, but we're just gonna do 7%. So we'll do 7% interest. We're starting at zero. We want to get to a million dollars. What do we got to put in? Oh my gosh, this is so simple. On a monthly basis, all you have to put in is $555. Now, here's what I want to show you that's really cool. Take 555, multiply that by 12. This is a monthly balance. Oops, 555 times 12. That's 6,000. $660 a year. 
That's all you have to invest on a yearly basis to go from zero to a million dollars in over 35 years. Now, do you know what $6,000 is right now? $6,000 is what you can put into an IRA or to a Roth IRA. If you're 30 years old, I want you to put this $555 into a Roth IRA. Now, if you have a 401k at work and they offer you a matching contribution, I want you to do that first. But let's say you don't have a 401k. I want you to put $555 or actually up to $6,000 in your Roth IRA per year and you can see the beauty of compound interest. Okay, so listen. Average investment accounts, uh, average investment account balance by age, let it motivate you. Let it push you forward. Do not let it um, negatively affect your thinking. Let it go in one ear and out the other and motivate you for growing your retirement and investment accounts. I hope this has been, a finish, been beneficial for you. Have a great day. Bye bye.